Hi guys. Not quite sure whether this counts as episode 3 or 4 regarding this Air Jammers um, air engine car. In the previous episode I managed to get it apart, get this front section out which removes the air pump and then glued it together with hot glue. That failed straight away. Then I tried Yoohoo glue, which actually worked for a while. It allowed me to pump it up enough to get the wheels to spin, but then when I pumped it up really hard it gave way and the front section slipped forwards and we've actually got an air gap there so all the pressure escapes. I'm trying to avoid using two-pack epoxy because I'm a bit worried that that may be a permanent fix that may still leak and we won't be able to get it apart um, if it does leak. So I'm still looking for alternative glues that I can use. Today I've bought some of this Gorilla Glue. Now I've been quite keen to try this for a long time. It seems to get good reviews. The only problem with it is if you read through it, it does actually say it's not recommended for poly polyethylene or polypropylene plastics. Now, I don't know what sort of plastic this is made of. It's quite a hard plastic. But we'll give it a try regardless. Now this stuff, obviously it needs a clean surface, so I'm going to have to spend some time cleaning it up again, get the old glue off. But you actually dampen the surface slightly, because it reacts with moisture, and that's what actually starts it setting. So I'll see if I can get it apart again, clean that Yoohoo glue off it as best I can. And then we'll try this stuff. Oh, just a point. The car cost me 95 pence. This glue, this particular pack, cost me five pounds. So that's more than five times as much money for the glue as it was for the car. I'm not too worried about that because I wanted to try this anyway. I've seen people use it before. So... It'll be handy to have it anyway, but just puts it in perspective. It's going to cost me at least five times as much to buy the glue as it did for the car. I've done my best to clean where the join will be, which is a bit difficult around here because you can't get to the back edge properly. And you may notice I've got gloves on because it warns you to wear gloves using this stuff. Wear gloves to avoid skin contact. Okay, that looks okay. I have to spray one surface with water to moist, moisten it. Spread a thin layer of Gorilla Glue on the other surface. Do not over apply glue. Whilst curing, the glue will expand three to four times. So it should fill gaps. The question is, where are we going to put it? Put it around here, I suppose, which means we'll moisten this surface. That's too much. It's only got to be moist, not wet.
applied a layer all the way around. So press it up together, put some more rubber bands over it again. Interesting, that's come loose. That's the first time I've noticed that come loose. Well, that's it. We'll now leave it for um, 24 hours, I think. Grip objects together for one to two hours. 80% cured in 1 to 2 hours, allow bond to cure for 24 hours. And this, we have to squeeze it up until it starts to come out the top to get rid of any air. So I expect that probably means that the top will be glued on next time I want to use it. Right, nothing more we can do now. Gloves off. Come back in a day's time. And see if it's worked. It's had about 24 hours to cure. You can see it's gone white and sort of foamy or bubbly. So, let's see if it works. Oh yes, that's pumping up pressure. But I can hear a leak. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, it might still work. It's working a bit. It's not as good as the good one, but it's better than it was. Let's change the angle of the camera a bit. The sun's come out for a few minutes. I've just put some glue on that pipe to hold it in place. Just see if that makes any difference. No. Just thought I'd show you where the leak is. <laughs> Not so good. That's a shame. As you could see, it was still working with those leaks, but not as well as it could do. So I've got a choice. I can take it apart again and try Gorilla Glue again, or I could take it apart again and try some other glue. I don't really want to use two-pack epoxy resin, because although that will probably make a good seal, it does tend to crack under um, shock damage. So, I don't know. I'll have a look, see if there's any other sort of glue I can use. We need some sort of rubbery type of glue that will fill the gaps and make a good seal. And 
withstand the pressure. So there may be another episode, but not in a hurry. I have no doubt that those leaks are because I haven't cleaned the surfaces properly before I put the glue on. I did my best, but it's very difficult to get round into all the nooks and crannies and get all the old glue and muck out of the way. So I'm not blaming Gorilla Glue for this, and it may have been successful if I'd have been able to get it completely clean.